everyone, it's uh, PT and Elgin here, and today we're going to show you how to fix an underwater hockey puck. Now, if you don't know what this is, then you probably don't need to watch this. But if you do know what an underwater hockey puck is, try to see that five times fast. Um, so mine has developed some cracks in it right here, and another crack right here. So we're going to fix that with epoxy. Um, I went to Harbor Freight and just bought some... Uh, 90 second epoxy and all you have to do it's very simple because these cracks are really small so I'm just gonna squeeze out I want to make sure you can see what I'm doing here squeeze out just a just a tiny bit so I do that grab a toothpick and mix it together and so you mix the curing agent with the uh, hardening um, activator and it's getting pretty good already. It's only 90 seconds, so you got to kind of work fast with this stuff. Um, other epoxies you can buy, like Home Depot and stuff, don't mix, don't uh, cure so fast. You have more time. But these little tiny cracks, I'm just going to dab a little in there. And uh, I'm using the point of the toothpick. I don't know if you can see this on the camera or not. But um, I'm kind of trying to, you know, push the point of the toothpick into the crack a little. So hopefully some of the epoxy gets in there. But, you know, that's about it. That's all I do for that one. And now because it's on the bottom and the other crack is, of course, on the opposite side. I'm going to put some right there. And uh, my plan is to put some epoxy on here. And again, I'm using the tip to kind of, you know, maybe push a little in there. I don't know if it'll work or not. But try and push a little in there. And then uh, for sure cover the crack in epoxy. So my plan is to do all that, and then um, I'm just going to let it dry now. And uh, after it's dry, I'm going to sand it. So I just wanted to show after it had dried what it looked like. You see that little bump? It looks like a zit. <laughs> that's what we have to sand off. But that was a crack, and now that's the bump. So that's what we're going to sand off. So, I waited 24 hours for the uh, glue to dry, the epoxy to dry, and I see, uh, see where it's dry and see all the burrs and all the rough edges and stuff. So, now I'm going to take it and put it in my vise and uh, very, very gently squeeze it and then take my file. and uh, try and smooth it out a little. So let's see how that goes. I'm being very, very careful that I don't start filing material off, just uh, epoxy. And it's in Minnesota, so it's a little chilly here. <laughs> Even though I have the heat on, it's still a little chilly. Oh, it's, uh, it's actually 68 in that garage here. It's probably about 30 outside, but... Or maybe in the 20. I don't know. Cold. You gotta be really, really careful. It, at least I want to be careful so I don't, don't accidentally start taking material off the puck, you know? All right, so I'm gonna try my, my little uh, palm sander and see what that does as far as moving, removing material, removing some epoxy. So let's see what it does. It's gonna be, of course, very loud. So you see how it's uh, got like a little, yeah, you can see that right there. See how it's, but it's all like raised. And so that, see that's, Epoxy that's dried. And I want to get rid of that so the puck's nice and flat and round, you know. So now I'm going to hit it with the sander and see that really smooths it out.
But anyway, so that's looking pretty good. There's a, there was a crack there. See that's gone. See that crack? There's a crack there. There's a crack there. Big long cracks all the way around, and they're all sealed up and sanded down. That came out really nice. I'm actually very, very impressed with that. There's a crack there. I didn't even, didn't even sand that one, but it sealed up nicely. I sanded off the extra, but it seems like it uh, they all sealed up nicely. So that's how you fix an underwater hockey puck with epoxy. See so you at the bottom of the pool. All right, bye bye. Go. So today I'm Algin. <clears throat> Um, my plan is to uh, then sand it so it's smooth. Again, I don't know if you can see that, but see how the epoxy made like a little bump on there. So I'm going to run my sander over that and see if I can take those bumps off. So anyway, that's how you...